This is Mpego village where my cousin Shane was born in February 1954. He was born Tata Navalelo, but later used his father's name, Mshieni, as his last name. He was the only son to Mshieni Valelo and Manzi Pazi, born with three sisters. Lily up. Beg up uh, Ningwala Bempek, Ningwala Chalit, a e fan. Oh, John, I get is it too? Eh, oh, my cars again. Yeah, ain't young, I am. Eh, Jemba ain't young, I am, oh, my cars. Sassin go chum, Gakul, I can you chum me? Eh, and up in the Dabanayo, a pandy Uma kazi kenge ba ya ingu ya ingu mtoni tuto akul. Kazi pa adu makazi yeye ingo mo buti zingene zingene pia zidi yeti na yeye na zingene pa ulanzi mo gul. Kwanza kaza zima kazi kum. Kwa besta numso wezo mnye song ulanda. Adu makazi ai mbona gut. Makanzala alama tuto dili na ai. Ana ukambala ala kaza numso nguo ai suka. The <laughs> If you now go come along, I I did 
he grew up enjoying the typical life of a boy in his time with other boys, herding sheep and cattle. Youth, like the rest of the people, were divided into two categories, amakaba namakobog. Moreover, like the modern day township gangs, there were territorial disputes, and likewise, they lost their lives attending to these disputes violently. They carried a range of assorted traditional weapons, ranging from axes, amazembe, imikolwane, inula, and so on. Although they organized their own traditional functions, they valued the Christmas day and celebrated it in their own traditional way. And really, Makaza's troubles started on Christmas day, 1972. <laughs> Upuma in a ziggy scarly. I forgot jiggles, I bought jiggles and jiggles. Upuma is scarly. So not ziggers or yuan. Upuma in yam, yah. You beg up. In Jeba as he was also Lamaqua. Go go more west quack. This is our app, it gives me a jetty pa. One mark. Eh, Sitana and a papa and dab. It beg a beggy with a labour, some can on aisle. Kamakwango <laughs> Makaza won the battle on Christmas Day, but unfortunately it would be carried over to a bitter end on the New Year's Day 1973. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Amen. Amen. Indo ayade yabe ibumela na go bubuhlungu ke ngoku na go mqa le nto zayithetha apha kumagazi into obana wafa waphinde wavuka amen wakho ngosa In the year 2011 Kyaliti shared it with the funeral congregants some of whom came to bury Makaza for the second time because in 1972, the story came only to the first end. 
Abizo, my cousin, you are going to cook. Abizo, good to her. My cousin, good to boom. My cousin is up with I am, I can figure I didn't know my cousin was young. We are bound. It is so young, my bound, boom, and we are going to have a hand around. Come back and hear. Depend, you better adding to my case. Can't that joke alone? Didn't you ever? And the Mazba Unganin. Yo! Ah, now I'm going to say, 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 call them to Puma and Manuang Bani. A Pumelum, I'm a Casbam Kibil, Pumelum Daddy, yeah, my Casbam Kibil. Who back on all of Mosu, Papa? Now you are too lazy to ask for my cousin, 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 my between the night on 31st December 1972 and the morning of 1st January 1973, the youth of Mpego village witnessed the violent murder of Makaza, whose death remains a mystery to this day. What happened? The Eastern Cape province is vastly rural and still has some prevalence of witchcraft-related crimes. Uh, my research was mainly about uh, the extent of witchcraft-related crime in the Eastern Cape, which involves, among other things, the uh, accusations and killing of suspected witches, as well as the um, killing of people for their body parts, and then also the more difficult one of the harming of people through the use of witchcraft. I'm not going to be transferred in Tart. I'm going to be transferred in Tart. I'm going to be transferred in Tart. I'm to be yeah, the police, the police that I was able to speak to made it very clear that uh, they make a distinction between witchcraft itself and investigating crimes that have been permitted with witchcraft as a motive. Uh, in other words, they, they don't investigate witchcraft. So they don't go around trying to investigate whether uh, somebody was a, a, an Eastern Zella or whether somebody was in fact attacked by Tikolosh or that sort of thing. They, they don't investigate that because they say they only deal with matters that can be proven um, in a court of law. We started and discovered there was this episode come and come come a castle. In course, the empire from Chicago and Namkit, Orinde. Yes, I commend us. We are battling with the Tilapa. We come to our way. Thank you. We say love again, much love again. That's why we we sing like the lion. And the one that he has in needs, he has in needs. He can cool fire. Can cool. Even before Makaza's family buried him, Mpeko village was engulfed in a rumor that Makaza was seen by some boys herding cattle and some women collecting firewood. He was chased but never caught until the fourth week.
Nanguwe bonwa hapa, bonwa hapa basa, amo putibeleka. Kwa hatu wakuza kutu, mba kupu, kusi asu, kutahala kia kondi. Kwa fansu ba, ya bwana ala matizi. Kwa hivyo matizi, kwa hivyo matizi, kwa hivyo kaisi. Kwa hivyo bwana ka. Apale, apale, kwa shia bwana. Eee, zamba, tiba ni kefendi yaki. Oh, oh, saya sama lekak kan dia mana baca, jalan jalan pun mah pemde, kau ni ada sendiri apa, na hatman kasim pun pun dia orang China, orang di mana kat dom, kutu be amba apa, kutu be tintin, kau kata saya cabil, dah amba kan dia amba di jikal dan kasim pun pun, ada kasan inflat, orang saya orang kita be amba amba hati pun kap, dah kalbas sendiri umat kasih kutu ay, abe lap, gok, kufiga umat amba kutu ay buyan, kutu ane aku mah kasih pun kalal ngap. Se pinda com dinheiro, se boia, se dá o chongar, caso feira o lomo se me angar a paia de ama não te adalo, o tua a tua adalo, o ba o glinho é lá caso, a tua adalo, a tua adalo o glonda o agar de ai, o ia paulo antes me, a tua lomo me bem amba, a tua o ia paulo antes me o chong inha o exag, inha o exag, o ma caso é inha na te calenda, calenda, o ia ele pang, o ia inha te lá calenda, o ibe seis ten Ya inga chandu bona ga la kelenda abi inya wezak ah aike diri kem na ga indo inya tela pa ya zinzwan ai fika pa an fika kelenda kule tu kelenda kelenda abe tu lo ma abe tu amagul zinzwan inga di umtu lo abe ngocha apa kelendi That is one thing I liked. Wabandra. It's not easy. As I did it again, the band is born. I told you what to do. I told you about this. 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 When Makaza returned, Mpego village people convened at the chief's great place to bear witness to the miracle of the boy who came back from the dead. Mysterious miracle. What Makaza was saying with his gestures was interpreted by the people as meaning that there were short people at the forest where he had been, short people with long beard who made him carry heavy logs. Why two bodies are going to I come back when I start in a simple way. I just have to give up. I believe, I believe, I believe. Art. I pin the art. I pin the art. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to pin. I pin the art. 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 I I I I talk to my mom. I name I I I I didn't move. Boom, 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 boom. I try. I say I go home, but oh, I say I run down. I beg you. 
the sudden reappearance of Makaza, confirming the rumors that he was seen around, did not end the mystery and did not come without doubts. After death, is an issue that has actually been debated worldwide. So the thoughts are, are not different from this. You see, uh, death is one of the four main rites of passage. The others being birth, puberty, marriage, and death. Uh, death implies the end of one phase in one's life and the beginning of another. Death implies, uh, is connected with the super mundane, you know. From you move, the individual moves from the mundane to the super mundane, from the known to the unknown, from the ordinary to the extraordinary. That's I'm happy you are quoting my cousin Shani, you know. Uh, his death was unusual in many instances. Uh, after the district surgeon had authorized the issue of uh, the death certificate, problems immediately began. Because in it, uh, apparently, I, uh, this is my, my thinking, the district surgeon took the story from the people, never examined the dead body. Simple wrote, and then the body was given back to the people to bury. That was, must have been the beginning of the whole halapalu about Makazam Shien. Otherwise, once things are like that, inexplicable, resort is often made to beliefs in witchcraft. This was the case. Ah, 
Now complications came when the people, you saw the killer, the killer of Makaza had been arrested, you see, was in custody, in police custody. And then now complications came when the people brought Makaza to the police station to say that the killer must be released because Makaza is alive, here he is. Well, you see, I think now there are there are now two two interesting interesting perspectives now on what happened. On the one hand, you've got the cultural perspective, or the cultural interpretation of what happened. Uh, in this case, it being that people then obviously would have would have then suspected that this person had now been turned into an East Tunzela, uh, and now had made an appearance in the court as an East Tunzela. Whereas on the other hand, you've now got the legal perspective. Um, of, of how to address the issue. Now, from the, from the legal perspective, uh, it's very difficult for the court to continue with, the, with this case if the person who is alleged to have been killed is now walking around in the court alive and well. Uh, because then in essence, then it means that there is then no case because there's no victim, there's no body, so no crime was then committed. So in that sense, then the, the courts will then throw the case out because they can't prosecute a man um, for murdering somebody if the victim is alive and well. Kibat <laughs> Yeah, that that is that sounds like a very very difficult uh, thing to explain um, because obviously a wound like that has to leave a scar. Uh, in fact, it's, it's even questionable whether somebody could, could survive a, 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 an attack of that nature. Um, you see, we're dealing with a, with a cultural context where people have these beliefs in people that can come back from the dead. Um, it's a cultural context that to a very large extent conditions the people in that culture to believe in these things. With the result that when somebody sees something um, then either in, in, because of the fact that they've been conditioned to believe it uh, or because they might see something that corroborates what they already believe. Hmm. Uh, uh, we used to hear, we used to trust the head of, of, of And there was enough evidence that a human being was seen killed, and the court is satisfied on the basis of the evidence. Makaza Mshieni had been killed. There has been enough evidence that Makaza Mshieni was seen killed, 
and the court, again, the court is satisfied that Makazam Shien was killed. But the one before court is alive. He must be re-registered. So the human being killed was a human being of unknown identity. So this one must be re registered. So that was the conclusion. And the killer was convicted for killing a human being of unknown identity. There are contrasting versions as well to the reason why the body was burned. According to Makaza's uncle, seeing that Makaza was now alive, they needed to see what or who they had buried. They went to dig the coffin out, but before they opened it, they realized that they had made a mistake. They should have visited a traditional healer to immunize them from whatever evil was inside that coffin, and they decided to burn it. Another version came from Professor Lamla, who had done some investigation. Uh, let's get this straight. You know, in Bagogba, Umakaza, Bezenai, apart from the jungle, alive, but he could not speak, except through signs. And then, uh, a traditional healer told the people to exhume the body of Makaza as it had been buried already, and then burn it without opening it, you know, that is the coffin, in order to enable Makaza to speak. This was done, and yet Makaza still could not speak. Eleven <laughs> Was one gain a band to Abba Faz Abamban. That's the plant which was a chart, so fast. Bam put us also put us a willing for. Says I'll tell you, a willing for. By Titan is a hand, we were caught horse. Yellow pass and eat. Why for whom do you can go a wheel a pit too? Like Baba Basuga and Balap, a band of Bango Tata. Young Tom Tata looked off what had him start. Makaza's story did not come from the horse's mouth, so to speak. People wanted it, and it was important to get him to speak again. The newspaper people also took some initiatives that would be logical. They took him to the Ifata School for the Deaf and Blind, not far from his home. They also tried to get him to write what he could not speak. There are some instances where people would say that what sometimes happens is that uh, a witch can actually send another familiar, not Eastern Zella. She can send uh, something like uh, Impundulu, for example, which then also has the ability to shapeshift. It can change its form. It can take on the form of any person or anyone. Uh, and what can happen then is that um, Impundulu can then take the form of the intended victim and then fool the victim's family into thinking that this is not actually the person, him or herself, but all the while it's, it's Impundulu that has taken the form of this person 
and then the witch then is able then to come and kidnap the real person um, and then take them back and turn them into Istuntian or whatever the case may be. Um, now, that is, that is one explanation that some people would be able to give, um, perhaps to explain now why this particular person had all the other features that resemble the person who had been killed, except for the scar. So I had to follow this thing in my casa. I had many questions. Abantu ke ababuya esatini kuye kuthwa zithunze. Kodwa umakhaza kabehlenaye pha kutsolo khaya siyibonela onto basithunze. The people that I that I was able to to talk to in in um, in my research they the, the, those they were those who claimed to have seen an an istunzela. Um and uh, how they were able to identify that this particular person was an istunzela was oftentimes by the clothing that the person was wearing because many of them were able to distinctly remember the clothing that the person was buried in, um, and then seeing this person again after he or she had been buried, wearing the same clothing that they were buried in, uh, which then suggested that this, this person that they were looking at may well have been an Eastern Zealand. Oftentimes they, they would describe the, the person as going from house to house in the village where he or she had lived, and then begging for food from people in the village. And then they would recognize, but this person had actually, actually died and, and been buried. But suddenly here, yeah, the person is um, asking for food. And that's when people would then start thinking about, um, ab about the possibility that it might be an Eastern Zealand. When Makaza returned, he was wearing a top made of empty plastic container of fertilizer, a short pair of pants and some gum boots. A woman who stays closer to the plantation claimed the gum boots as hers. She had left them at the plantation as she collected firewood. Makaza's mother, Manzi Paz, told the press that those were not Makaza's clothes. Makaza's clothes were the ones worn by the thing that was buried and which was burnt, unfortunately. When all was given up on the traditional and spiritual healers around his home, Makaza was taken to a place in the small town of Tsolo, known as Indabazo Sindiso. Salvation News Place, the place of faith healer Mrs. Elizabeth Paul, knee spalding. Amen. <laughs> Makaza was a 
waweza ihamba no makuru wake umama ga mama wake umakhaza wayene ngxaki ngoba waye waqatyela umakhaza emngxilweni wamakhonqa awayeza kuluka elali yakhe kwaliwa londa babekuyo waqatyela umakhaza wabe uyasweleka wazobela mfasele engxakiyo kwilali yodada wabo wafika ubhuti ebonaka into kokuba uvela kwindawo ebingahlali engahlali nabantu ncam ebu ebu khweqa nalapha emzimbeni ibonakala lanto into kokuba ube ngahlali nje em athi ke xa esele kufike le nto uba ebe ebengahlali nabantu umbonto kokuba unaye la ndawo ubane attitude ebantwini wayena kokudlobongela ngelo xesha umakhaza bonga kwavumelana nabantu abathile for example umakhaza wayenga kwazi ukudibana namanisi Mfuni umtu onwebe ilo kweganesi. Waye nga mfuni umtu onwebe umanyani. Uchukuchi kumakaza zongezi nchungu aye watula kuzo. Uzi fumene kwa wabantu manweba ezi pata zonche. Uyabonakala kumakhazi ba ikhona into edibena kule ndawo ayekuyo nje nje ngoba ba aphendibene nama power athile ubonakala ba ngathi umuntu wa power wakhe yabona ngabo abantu abemenze ezonto babendo into ezimhlophe njengamanisi la Makaza spent 38 years after his first death living in the small town of Tzolo. After a while, he stopped going to pray and then returned to drinking. What happened? When I come to Dwamakas, I have to stop thinking like a human being. I and the for one solution up to this point. As to what happened, I now yes. In fact, it worries me. I every time I think of Makaza, I think it will be invidious you know, for any culture to imagine that uh, someone will live forever. They, uh, the Southern Gone, the Tosa speaking, accept death as a necessary end anyway. They do accept it as a final, that is individual has reached finality. It's only when the death occurs in an unusual way and then some people may start interpreting. Interpretations of always vary vastly. It may be that uh, that is where things like uh, beliefs in witchcraft, when death cannot be understood really. So some people would say, no, there's something wrong here. It's not just uh, through dad or through ancestors or kukufa is man-made that is now resort would be made to other issues otherwise death is regarded as a necessary end 
Everybody is bound to die. The Tosas people know this. It's a question of when and how. I and and yom tata panosis again on a bit of a mollus of course. They said something, this ballo say Lucy. But change and go about Abango tata. They so be the corner of Abamolus. Uma casa, go figure a lot to my logo, but if you get my casa, a quasu, we banshe, got in Jay, Ganji. Lenda is all Nagalam, Sawatua. We are Buiso. Who's a apicaya? but you can't go back to the to be understand. Then we benefit of evidence. Um, it's very, very difficult for, for people to be 100% sure of what exactly uh, had happened there. But on the other hand, one could also argue and say, well, even without evidence, how do you say that, um, you know, several people who claim to have seen this person and who claim to have known that this was the person who had in fact been killed, um, how can they all be wrong? So, so that's, that's the, the million dollar question. <laughs> 